In this section, we're going to show you how to use Excel's auto sum feature in order to add up the values either in rows or columns. Now, if you like, you can manually create a total for a column. So to do that, and again, I don't recommend this, you type the equal sign, you click on the value, press the plus sign, click on the next value, and so on. And as you can see, the formula bar just updates itself. If we press enter, you can see our total is 275. Now the problem is, if we add another salesperson in here and add a value, they're not picked up in our total. Now if you want to check your formula, a quick visual is you double click the formula cell and you can see Excel shows you what cells are included in that formula. So now if we take that out, the auto sum feature is absolutely wonderful. What you do is you highlight the cells that you want to total and the blank cell where you want the total to go. Over here, Excel has an auto sum feature and you can tell it to auto sum, you can auto average, you can count numbers, you do the max or min or other functions. In this case, we'll auto sum. And you can see Excel truncates the formula and the colon basically means two. So from B7 to B9. Now back to our earlier example, if we insert another salesperson, you can see Excel automatically expanded it and included it. Now the one drawback is if you put a new cell at the very bottom, so here, you'll notice that Excel didn't pick it up. Now again, to fix that, you can just double click and you see this is what's currently included. If you come down to the bottom, you can drag down one and there you can see the formula is updated. Click OK. So we're going to take these out. Now there's a couple ways you can do this. So you could do this for each row and column individually or you can do it to the first one and then just propagate the formula over. As you can see, Excel automatically updates to include the current column. Again, if we want to auto sum the row, you can see what Excel does there and then we can drag that down. So now we have total by salesperson and total by month. In the next section, we'll talk about calculating averages and the minimum and maximum values.